Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday to all of you. So, friends, I have breaking news today. It has been confirmed that millions of new stimulus checks have been sent and mailed out to eligible taxpayers. Many low-income households can expect a brand new one-time relief payment very soon. Officials also plan on providing monthly stimulus checks. So, dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all these new details. I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter these giveaways, please make sure you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. We need to not only end the Republicans' ability to end Social Security, we need to expand Social Security. And that's why I'm so proud to be here to support John Larson's Social Security 2100, a sacred trust. In my district alone, there are nearly 120,000 Social Security recipients who receive an average in total of 209 million in monthly benefits. This is a vital, critical program, life-saving for millions of Americans. And why is it called a sacred trust? It's called a sacred trust because our government promised over 85 years ago that if you contribute to Social Security with each and every paycheck, you can retire with dignity. President Biden has called that a sacred trust. Chairman Lawson's sacred trust bill is how we need to make Social Security stronger and even better. And I think it's important to just talk about how awesome this bill is. Let me just talk to you about some of the provisions. It has a benefit bump for current and new Social Security beneficiaries of 2%. Uh, in addition, it has protection against inflation, and it does that by improving the outdated COLA formula that currently is in Social Security. The bill also improves Social Security benefits for widows and widowers. This bill repeals the windfall elimination provision. It ends the five-month waiting period to receive disability benefits. The bill also provides caregivers. So this week, the main Department of Administrative and Financial Services announced it has processed and mailed $850 relief checks to all verified eligible Maine taxpayers who have filed tax returns today. A news release from the department stated it has sent out almost 785,000 payments to Maine taxpayers. That represents 91% of the 858,000 estimated recipients. The release also stated that Maine Revenue Services will continue to process checks weekly as Maine taxpayers continue to file the returns. The deadline to file a return is October 31st, 2022. Other U.S. states have taken action and passed new stimulus bills. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signed a nearly $46.5 billion state budget into law that aims to fight near record inflation by providing $1.8 billion back to taxpayers. Governor J.B. Pritzker said during a news conference the budget I'm signing into law brings real improvements to the lives of working families and sets us up for a stronger fiscal future. The state's fiscal plan suspends the tax on groceries for one year and freezes the motor fuel tax for six months. The plan also provides $520 million for a one-time property tax rebate, which is 5% of property taxes paid, and that's up to $300 per household. There is also relief available for families. The bill permanently expands the earned income tax credit from 18% to 20% of the federal credit, while also expanding the number of households who are covered. It also provides $685 million for direct rebate checks to working families. That is $50 per individual and $100 per up to three dependents. Friends, the keyword for this video is Virginia Beach. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Virginia Beach and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And please, friends, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Remember, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway.
Thank you so much. Virginia's divided General Assembly passed a compromise state budget recently. The legislation would offer nearly $4 billion in tax relief, increased pay for teachers and other public employees, also boost K-12 education spending, and fund a wide range of projects from road work to school construction. Budget negotiators crafted the measure at a time when Virginia's tax revenues have been soaring far beyond projections. That allowed for making long-term investments in core government services, while also boosting the state's reserves and enacting tax cuts that are expected to save a family of four an estimated $1,108 a year. It directs about $1 billion in tax relief towards one-time rebates of $250 for individuals and $500 for families, which would be distributed later this year. Many South Carolina taxpayers may also receive hundreds of dollars in a one-time rebate. Only residents of South Carolina who paid state income tax will receive a rebate, which is about 1.5 million tax filers. About 44% of filers who do not pay state income taxes will not receive the rebate. State officials have told reporters about 56% of the tax returns are expected to get a rebate based on their tax liability. Each return filed in 2021 will receive a rebate equal to the amount of tax liability on the return. According to experts, your tax liability is based on how much you owe after the course of a year, even if you received a refund. Rebates will be capped at about $800. The rebates will cost the state of South Carolina about $1 billion. The State Department of Revenue must issue the rebates by the end of the year. State lawmakers also passed an income tax cut bill, which reduced the number of income tax rates from five to two and immediately cut the top rate from 7 to 6.5%. The top rate will be reduced to 6% over a span of five years. So friends, please leave a comment below if you think that all states should approve a new stimulus plan. Well, my beautiful and amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Thursday morning. Thank you so very much for joining me here. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Lorna Hermano. Congratulations, my friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me an email, or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.